Hey guys, it's Vimeo91, and I'm talking about EA and Nintendo. Why? Because EA recently made some comments about Nintendo. At their quarterly financial meeting, They were ta one of the investors, I'm assuming, was asking about the Nintendo Switch. And they said, well, the reason why, basically, they're not giving much Nintendo Switch support, because they say people who own the Switch also tend to own another platform, and those people tend to want to play their games on that other platform. And here's the thing about that. You can't release a bad port of FIFA where it's missing the single player campaign and then go, oh, well, people want to play it on the other platforms. I guess it's the Switch's fault. Not that he said that, but that's kind of what he's implying, that people would rather play on the other platforms. And he's not mentioning that with FIFA, they released an basically incomplete game on the Switch. That just makes the Switch look bad and neglects the whole EA not putting the single player campaign on the Switch. And then he goes on to talk about The Sims, and basically he says, I wouldn't say The Sims aren't ever going to go to Switch, but he then just talks about how they're doing on the other platforms and the promotion. So here's the thing. He doesn't even answer that question. He answered the first one. He didn't even answer this question. He just was like, well, I'm not saying it's not going to be on the Switch, but it's doing well on the other consoles. That doesn't answer the question. I think the real answer is that EA is still sore after all the stuff that happened with the Wii U, and EA is just not willing to be getting into the Switch like that. They are giving them a few games, yes, but they're not giving them the bulk because they, after everything that happened to Wii U, EA is still sour, I believe, and EA as a whole company just is not probably supporting the Switch like that because of what happened with the Wii U. I believe EA with FIFA, they just wanted to get their feet wet, and with Unravel 2, well, that's a smaller game that makes sense on the Switch. So to me, this just doesn't make any sense what EA is saying. And I really think the real reason is they're just still sour over what happened with the Wii U. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.